Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today is Wednesday, December 1st, and we are in the first week of Advent. Um, sorry for any confusion uh, on Monday, because I think I said we were in the, uh, well, I know I said that we were in the first week of Ordinary Time. Yeah, that was just a uh, slip of the early morning tongue. Um, we are officially in Advent. We got a uh, got a text message from my mom uh, telling me about my little slip. So, friends, we are in Advent. So let's begin our morning prayer on this Wednesday. Lord, open my lips and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King who is to come. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness, when at Meribah and Massa. They challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Forty years I endured that generation. I said they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King who is to come. <clears throat> come, thou long-expected Jesus, Born to set thy people free. From our fears and sins release us. Let us find our rest in thee. Israel's strength and consolation, hope of all the earth thou art. Dear desire of every nation, joy of every longing heart. O Lord, in your light we see light itself. Sin speaks to the sinner in the depths of his heart. There is no fear of God before his eyes. He so flatters himself in his mind that he knows not his guilt. In his mouth are mischief and deceit. All wisdom is gone. He plots the defeat of goodness as he lies on his bed. He has set his foot on evil ways. He clings to what is evil. Your truth, Lord, reaches to the heavens. Your love, Lord, reaches to the heavens. Your truth to the skies. Your justice is like God's mountain. Your judgments like the deep. To both man and beast you give protection. O oh Lord, how precious is your love. My God, the sons of men find refuge in the shelter of your wings. They feast on the riches of your house. They drink from the stream of your delight. In you is the source of life, and in your light we see light. Keep on loving those who know you, doing justice for upright hearts. Let the foot not crush, let the foot of the proud not crush me, nor the hand of the wicked cast me out. See how the evildoers fall. Flung down, they shall never arise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, you are the source of unfailing light. Give us true knowledge of your mercy, so that we may renounce our pride and be filled with the riches of your house. O Lord, in your light we see light itself. O God, you are great and glorious. We marvel at your power. Strike up the instruments, a song to my God with timbrels. Chant to the Lord with cymbals. 
Sing to him a new song, exalt and acclaim his name. A new hymn, I will sing to my God. O Lord, you are great and glorious, wonderful in power and unsurpassable. Let your every creature serve you, for you spoke and they were made. You sent forth your spirit and they were created. No one can resist your word. The mountains to their bases and the seas are shaken. The rocks like wax melt before your glance. But to those who fear you, you are very merciful. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. O God, you are great and glorious. We marvel at your power. Exalt in God's presence with hymns of praise. All peoples clap your hands, cry to God with shouts of joy. For the Lord the Most High we must fear, great King over all the earth. He subdues peoples under us, and nations under our feet. Our inheritance, our glory is from him, given to Jacob out of love. God goes up with shouts of joy, the Lord goes up with trumpet blast. Sing praise for God, sing praise. Sing praise to our King, sing praise. God is King of all the earth, sing praise with all your skill. God is King over the nations, God reigns on his holy throne. The princes of the peoples are assembled with the people of Abraham's God. The rulers of the earth belong to God, to God who reigns over all. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now, and will be forever. Amen. God, King of all peoples and all ages, it is your victory we celebrate as we sing with all the skill at our command. Help us to overcome evil by good, that we may rejoice in your triumph forever. Exalt in God's presence with hymns of praise. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The virgin shall be with child, and bear a son, and shall name him Emmanuel. He shall be living on curds and honey by the time he learns to reject the bad and choose the good. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your light will come, Jerusalem. The Lord will dawn on you in radiant beauty. Your light will come, Jerusalem. The Lord will dawn on you in radiant beauty. You will see his glory within you. The Lord will dawn on you in radiant beauty. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Your light will come, Jerusalem. The Lord will dawn on you in radiant beauty. The one who is coming after me is greater than I. I am not worthy to untie the, the strap of his sandals. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The one who is coming after me is greater than I. I am not worthy to untie the strap of his sandals. The Word of God humbled himself to dwell with us 
so that we might see his glory. Rejoicing in hope, let us call upon him. Emmanuel, be with us. Ruler, just and righteous, bring justice to the poor and the oppressed. Emmanuel, be with us. King of peace, you beat swords into plowshares and spears into pruning hooks. Turn hatred into love and our grievances into forgiveness. Emmanuel, be with us. You do not judge by appearances. Recognize those who are your own. Emmanuel, be with us. When you come with power and might upon the clouds, grant that we may come before you without shame. Emmanuel, be with us. Gathering these prayers, these intentions, calling to mind the prayers and the intentions of our own hearts, remembering each of those people who have asked for our prayers, each of those people that we have promised to pray for. We lift up our voices, now using those sacred words that Jesus himself taught us, and together we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord our God, grant that we may be ready to receive Christ when he comes in glory, and to share in the banquet of heaven where he lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And friends, thank you for joining me today for morning prayer from the Liturgy of the Hours um, on this uh, first day of December, um, in the first week of not ordinary time, but Advent. Um, we're in a brand new month. I have no idea where, uh, where November went, flew past us. Um, but as we march towards Christmas, what an opportunity for you and I to prepare our hearts to receive Jesus Christ in a new way this Christmas, as he was born into the world in that manger at Bethlehem. May he be born into our hearts, and you and I now, using this time to be ready for Christ to arrive in a new way in our hearts, in our lives, in our homes, in our world. Friends, whether you are out and about today, whether you are staying in, remember to be safe today, remember to be healthy today, but above all, remember to be holy today, that you and I would live the mystery of Christ's life today in our lives. May God be praised in you. May God be praised through you. And I do hope that you have a beautiful day today.